Today is day six of me trying to make $3,000 in a week with DoorDash. So far we've made $1,515.03 in 77 and a half hours. We've averaged $19.55 per hour. We've driven 1,418 and a half miles and spent $241 in gas. So just to reiterate, the reason I'm doing this is to help raise $5,000 to the National Alliance on Mental Illness. This whole week I've been pushing my mental limits as far as they can go, working as many hours as possible, and also doing punishments if I don't hit my goal of $428.57 per day. Now those punishments are things that you guys get a vote on. And so because I didn't hit my goal yesterday, you guys voted that I would eat chicken wings with the last dab sauce, which is one of the hottest sauces in the world at over 2 million Scoville. So that's exactly what I'll be doing right now before we get into day six. And also just a reminder before we get into these bad boys, I just wanted to remind you guys that I am donating $1 for every five subscribers I get during this challenge. We still got two more days left. If you have the means, please donate. If you don't, then go ahead, subscribe, and I'll be donating as much as possible. So since I last checked in with you guys, we've gained 150 subscribers. That's awesome. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel, supporting this challenge, and helping donate with every subscriber we get. So 150 new subscribers is equivalent to $30 that I'll be donating right now for you guys. I'll throw up the screen recording. Now let's get into these bad boys. Oh boy. What have I done? I'm just gonna put the sauce on this and like maybe dip them? I don't really know, but ooh, that looks spicy. So what they do on the show is they usually just dab a little bit on the wing. I don't really know what I'm gonna do to be honest. Maybe I'll just dab it on every bite. I don't know. Here goes nothing, guys. Get it nice and saucy up in there. This should be fun. <laughs> oh boy. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> I was not expecting that. Holy crap. I've done the one chip challenge and that was terrible. I'm really hoping this isn't the same because when I did that one chip challenge, I got the worst stomach ache I've ever had in my entire life. I thought my insides were literally being filled with lava. So, whew. Okay. It's honestly not too bad. That initial hit where I like hit my tongue, it was pretty spicy. But as of right now, not too bad. Okay, wow, that's not too bad. Well, there goes wing number one. Go ahead and enjoy day number six and I'll see you guys in a little bit. So we've been at it for an hour and a half now, only made $18. So it's been a super slow morning, but I'm hoping things pick up here pretty soon. We just got our next order. This one to McDonald's, $6 for 4.4 miles. We gotta start making some money today. Just picked up this next order from Rancheritos. And honestly, I'm feeling pretty tired, but at the same time, I'm like in the home stretch right now. So I feel a lot of motivation to like go as hard as possible. But I don't know, it's just such a weird mix of like being exhausted but motivated at the same time. So let's go get this done and keep going. So that last order completes our next hour. We just made $24 in the 10 o'clock hour. So now we're up to $42. We're about to head into the lunch shift. Saturday lunch shifts can be kind of hit or miss. I'm hoping we hit today, make some great money. Let's get going with the lunch shift. All right, we just finished up our fifth hour and for the last four hours since 10 o'clock, 
we've actually been making pretty good money. We made $102 in that amount of time. So $25.50 per hour. That's pretty great for a Saturday lunch shift. And I actually just got my next order. Hold on one sec. Yeah, this is actually a good one. $8 for 4.2 miles to Shake Shack. Definitely taking that. I was going to take a quick break and eat something. But since I got this order, looks like we're gonna get this done real quick and then grab a little bite to eat. Well, they can't find the order. I don't know what it is about this week, but so many restaurants having problems. All right, so I wanted to stop here real quick because I got an order that was just absolutely massive and something happened that I've never had happen before. So I got this Petco order, which was just absolutely huge. And yeah, it was a lot of mileage, but I figured I could probably get it done in about 45-ish minutes and then get back into my zone, make $30 that hour and be chilling. So when I go to deliver the last order of the stack, the customer didn't put a full address, they just put a street name, couldn't get in contact with them, contacted DoorDash support, they couldn't get in contact with them. So DoorDash had me drive all the way back to that Petco to return the order. And I actually got full pay for the order plus an additional half pay to return the order. So it ended up being absolutely amazing and really helped boost up our hourly average. But that was just something I'd never had happen before. Get paid for the entire order, then get paid half of it to drive all the way back. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead take my second wing. I'm actually gonna dab this one, put the sauce on it. Okay, you guys see that right there, right? Yeah, that's, that's, <clears throat> okay. Yeah, that, that's, that's hotter. I don't think I put enough on the first one. But again, it like hits you really hard for like a split two seconds. I'm, I'm like chilling now. We'll do another dab on the second bite. How about that? My nose is running a little bit now. Whoa, yeah, that second one, second bite. Uh, that's making it increasingly hotter. Okay, while I sit here and try to avoid drinking milk, let's go ahead and finish day six. All right, guys, it's been a while since I last talked with you, but it's about 10.45 right now. We've made pretty decent money the whole day, I would say. We're at $313, and we just got our next order. It's to Rancheritos, decent order. I can't even remember what it was. I think it was like $7.50 for four miles or something. I don't know. And surprisingly, today I've actually been the least tired I've been all week, except maybe the first day. But I'm feeling pretty good, honestly. We got $3 peak pay coming up at 11.30, so in about 45 minutes. And yeah, I think we're gonna go until about 1.30 or two. So we got roughly three hours left. Let's see if we can hit that $400 mark. We have yet to do that this week, and we were supposed to make that every single day. But you know what, we're trying out here, we're doing our best, we're taking what DoorDash gives us, and that's all we can really do. Next up, we got this stack order right here. Not bad for how late it is. And after we complete this, we'll probably be into the peak pay, so let's keep going. All right, guys, so that finishes up day number six. Before we get into the totals, I'm gonna have another wing. Oh, I'm gonna go with a flat this time. <sighs> Just gonna dip. Honestly, as the time went by, it's gotten increasingly worse. And my tongue kind of feels numb, to be honest with you. So, I'm gonna do a little less on this last one. 
All right, so our day six totals were we made $382.42 in 20 hours, bringing our hourly average to $19.12 per hour. We drove 355 and a half miles and spent $60 in gas. So our weekly totals are $1,910.82 in 97 and a half hours. We've averaged $19.60 per hour. We've driven 1,774 miles and spent $301 in gas. Now tomorrow is our last day. I don't think there's any hope of me hitting $3,000, but we're still gonna go out for as long as we can, make as much money as we can and finish out strong. The thing there is still hope for with the power of the DoorDash community and with the power of you guys is hitting that $5,000 donation goal. So if you're watching this and you could just donate a dollar, then we'd be able to hit that goal. If you could do that, that would really mean a lot to me and it would go to a great cause. But again, if you can't, I'm donating $1 for every five subscribers I get. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate it and I'll see you guys tomorrow.